Hey, good morning, folks. Hey, we're out here today on uh, one of the little local lakes close to my house called Lake Bashir. And uh, we're heading out right now to go do some practice. It's pretty chilly this morning. Um, my wife and I have a club tournament coming up this weekend, and we fished out here Saturday and uh, caught a lot of small males. So today we're going out, gonna go try to find some bigger pre-spawn females, gotta find some bear quality fish. Um, there's a tournament on Sunday, just a few days ago here, and uh, the top three weights were all over 20 pounds. So gotta find some big fish. Um, I'm not sure where they are right now, but that's what we're gonna go try to figure out today. Gonna go kind of run typical pre-spawn stuff, go fish shallow. We just got a bunch of rain, so the water is super muddy. Uh, it's 54.4 degrees here down by the dam, um, but we're gonna go way up the creek arms and go see what we can find. So stay tuned and uh, I'll touch back soon, hopefully with some big fish in the, in the live well. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. Start the blind. Not a big fish, but keeper. There we go.
Bruiser's baby. Look at that, it's Bruiser. Oh, son. Uh -huh. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at that chunk. Hey there, everybody. Uh, so, off the water now. We're finished up with practice day. Um, did about half a day of practice, and as you guys can see from the video, um, definitely found some of the right quality fish today, which was really good. We uh, we need to find five like that on Saturday. Finally found, I think, an area. Uh, you know, I fished all morning. Um, I got out there a little bit later than what takeoff will be, and I think that morning bite might be a little bit tough. It's going to be pretty cold, but. Uh, you know, I fished and only had a few bites really um, over on the developed side of the lake this morning. And I got one good one over there, but it was kind of a random bite and I couldn't duplicate any other bites like that. So I'm not really banking on, you know, a fish like that um, from that side. But the last spot that I checked um, in about a 45 minute period, I had five bites in there. I landed two of them and they were both really good fish uh, as you guys see in the video here. Um, but the others, the other two were on a swimming worm. Um, and I just, I don't think I gave it to them long enough. They felt, they hit it really good. Um, and the worm was all jacked up each time. And uh, when I brought it back in and then um, I broke one off, uh, that was a really good fish. He was kind of in a log, um, kind of down in a brush pile or log jam sort of deal. And I, uh, he got tangled up so I set the hook I could feel the weight of the fish and I could also feel my line rubbing and it just wore through it and broke my line unfortunately so um, I think that was another good fish so you know I think I could have easily made a coal out of my bag today uh, with that one and I think that that's an area where like I said I got five bites in about 40 minutes and so I don't know if it was a little window that was going on in there or if that's just actually where those fish are stacked up and so I think come tournament day, we're gonna kind of bounce around in that area. I think for the whole day, I think we're just gonna kind of settle in there. Um, gonna throw around a spinnerbait a bunch, gonna throw around uh, swimming worms, throw around maybe some Sankos, you know, just take our time and really pick that area apart. It's basically a massive flat with a bunch of lily pads um, and some old hydrilla from last year and I think those fish are just kind of scattered out in there pre-spawning or actually some of them one of the fish that i caught today looked like it would actually been fanning a bed like its tail was wore down um it was in pretty rough shape so they may be that some of those fish are actually starting to go on bed um which if that's the case we really got to slow down in there i think and pick it apart and the water's dirty enough in there where i don't think we're going to be able to do any sight fishing but uh yeah it was a really good practice day um, basically everything I caught today, I just wanted to cover a lot of water. So I basically stuck a 3 8 ounce and a half ounce jig in my hand, black um, with a super chunk, black super chunk on the back. And then um, I threw a couple different spinnerbait colors around, threw around kind of a natural bluegill color this morning. Then this afternoon I spent most of my time, and this is actually what I got most of my bites on, was throwing a, uh, I think it's Jacob Wheeler, um, accent spinnerbait and uh, it's got a little orange Colorado accent blade on there um, and then I think it's a number four uh, gold Colorado that I had on there and I uh, got a few fish doing that so I think it'll be pretty good um, I think we can just tough it out in an area like that and hopefully get five of the right bites you know that's the thing you only need five bites and uh, both of the fish that I boated back in there very quickly were both really quality fish you know I think I probably had around 11 pounds with those two fish so definitely going to spend a lot more time back in there and uh, this is a lake that i've got some history on so i've got a few other areas that i think we could bounce around and just get a couple of bites to fill out a limit if need be but that's where we're going to spend most of our time so anyways hope you guys like the video thanks for tuning in uh, stay tuned for the tournament video uh, i'm going to do these as two separate videos um, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when that tournament video is up and uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you have any suggestions, please leave me a comment down below. And uh, as always, hit that like button if you enjoy the video. So thank you guys, and we'll see you tournament day.